Dr. Hoffer's work that I'm going to talk about is this concept of orthomolecular medicine. And what Dr. Hoffer, who I'll talk about in a minute, said, wait a minute, what happened to the other half that didn't walk out of the hospital? The ones that walked out on brewer's yeast, those were called pelagrins, right? They had pelagra, psychosis cured. Those that didn't walk out were called schizophrenics. So Dr. Hoffer started thinking about this concept of, okay, what's a deficiency and what happens if someone just needed a higher dose? And started understanding or looking at the concept of dependency. So he developed this concept of a dependency, which is higher dose of B3 for schizophrenia. And this concept of deficiency, we're going to talk later about subclinical deficiencies in um, nutrition for mental health, and dependency is not uncommon in the rest of the medical world. And this is one of many examples, West syndrome that's used a lot. So it's a very common cause of seizures in infants. These individuals have normal B6 levels and every indicator normal B6, but if we give them IV B6, their seizures are controlled. Okay, so they have a higher need for B6, and the mechanism is B6 is required for the enzyme to convert glutamine to GABA. Seizures are controlled. Common pediatric neurological tidbit fact, and we treat it. Okay? So Dr. Hoffer, who is, is kind of my mentor um, in, in so many ways, he was a chemist. He was a PhD in biochemistry. 600 publications, 35 books, and he used the term and tried to, with his patients, understand this concept of dependency. And this one story that he writes in um, one of his many books is about a colleague, a friend of his, who was a prisoner of war in World War II in Japanese concentration camps. He came back with severely um, psychiatrically impaired PTSD symptoms, not functioning, saw Dr. Hoffman was put on vitamin B3. Okay. The lower doses didn't help when he uh, took the higher doses, which is three grams uh, of vitamin B3, complete resolution in symptoms. He became, I'm not sure what it's called in Canada, but one of the ministers in the government. So he's a high government official. And Dr. Hoffer talks about when he traveled and didn't take his vitamin B3, three grams per day, psychological and psychiatric symptoms returned. Okay? So the concept of dependency, maybe some of our patients need higher dosages of certain nutrients. So my other question that I asked, and I'm getting really disappointed in the answer, how many people have heard of Linus Pauling? Okay, I feel better. So my psychiatric residents have not heard of Nobel, uh, Linus Pauling either. So this particular article published in Science in 1968, Science Journal of Science, the most prestigious, academic, rigorous science journal on the planet. And he wrote an article after learning of the work of Dr. Hoffer called Orthomolecular Psychiatry. And this is not a review article. This is an incredibly technical article with enzyme kinetics and graphs and plots. And this guy won two Nobel Prizes. Anyone know what the Nobel Prizes were for? Chemistry and peace. Thank you. Two Nobel Prizes wrote this brilliant article and on the term orthomolecular psychiatry, he labeled it, he named it on this concept, and, and this is the, the core, this is the crux. Orthomolecular therapy and psychiatry is the treatment of mental disease through the provision of the optimum molecular environment of the mind, especially optimum concentration of substances normally present in the human body. Pretty simple. Um, but profound that's completely um, missing in our current psychiatric model for treating any patients. But